Hello and welcome to this short video on photography. Photography is another visual art in which we experience the totality of the work of art all at once. However, photography, aside from the obvious fact that it reflects objects as they exist in the real world, is distinct from painting in that the photographer can control the details of the picture in ways that are revelatory of their subject matter. Take a look at these photographs, which find in their subjects something unique and distinctive. The details would likely have been quite different in a traditional painted portrait. These photographs are not just records of their subjects, but reveal something about the characters of the men portrayed. Starting with the pictorialist movement, photography was framed as a new art form. Influenced by realistic painting, the pictorialists sought to create artistic photographs that often featured a centered subject, sharp and directed light, and a soft focus. Oftentimes, the pictorialists were accused of being sentimental in their choice of subject matter. One famous photograph from a leader in the pictorialist movement is Paula by Alfred Stieglitz, taken in 1889. Note the use of light and shadow in the photograph and the centered subject, Paula. Overall, this photograph seems more composed than most of the more journalistic work we see in the news. Straight photography was a reaction against pictorialism and focused on techniques specific to photography, such as lighting, composition, clarity of subject, precision of focus, and print quality. The F64 group treated photography as not an interpretation and tried to reveal the world as it is. Let's take a look at a couple photographers working in this vein. First, we have Edward Weston's Nude from 1936. Weston attempts to show the human body in its natural state with a relatively unobtrusive background of sand. Second, we have Ansel Adams' Taos Pueblo from 1941. Adams captures a sense of the rough-hewn nature of the buildings in this scene. The documentarists differ from straight photographers in that the documentarists attempt to catch moments in time that seem more composed than we might typically find in everyday life. It's not just the objective world that is being recorded, but a way of seeing the world and its objects and inhabitants. In the contemporary world, it is the snapshot that is dominant as a kind of folk photography. Smartphones have made it incredibly easy to take beautiful photographs with minimal effort. The best work in this vein highlights photography as an art that can be set apart from all others. Finally, image manipulation using sophisticated software applications has created even more artistic possibilities for the photograph, bringing photography even closer to a pure visual art. That's about it for this lecture. Thank you, and see you soon.